Good day, my brother and sister. Welcome to the edition. Brothers and sisters, last night I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep and around 2 a.m. the Lord reminded me of a word that he gave me three years ago. I am so glad that I record the words that God gives me because I was able to go and watch that word and it blessed me tremendously. I'm here because that word blessed me. I'm going to tell you what I got from it. But further, because I know that a lot of people are going through what I was going through then. You see, this video is titled, When I was unemployed and broke, God gave me a word and he kept the promise. So I am shooting this because currently a lot of people are going through that season. And there's a lot of people who are losing their jobs through layoffs. There are a lot of people who can't find shelter. There are a lot of people who can't put food on the table. There are a lot of people currently suffering. Whoever you are out there who needs to hear this, I want you to remember the promises that God gave you and to cling on to them during those dark hours. I'm going to recount the dream quickly, but I have tagged it in the community tab and I will put it in the comment section and at the end of this video so you can go watch it and hear how that girl then who, uh, who was unemployed, who was broke, what she, she, how she was fed by a dream from God. Anyway, the dream. In that dream, I'm with my son and I walk into a room of a house. It's like we are entering a house, but this house was more like a room. And it was a bare room. The walls were gray. And I knew in the dream that this was my house. I'm holding my son uh, by hand. As I walk into this room, empty as it is, I am looking at the walls. And I notice that the walls are dripping with honey. But what was also amazing was that it's as if I had x-ray um, vision. I could see through the walls because I was wondering how is it that these walls are dripping with honey? The walls inside the walls, I could see through this x-ray vision that inside the walls were honeycombs. So the wall, the foundation, when this house was built, inside were honeycombs. And as such, the walls continued to drip with honey. This house was made of walls that will continually drip with honey provision. I said I had this dream three years ago. And three years ago, I was unemployed. I was broke. And I was trusting God for a home. I had that dream and that dream fed me. I was excited to get that dream because to me it represented that God was going to do what he promised, that he was going to give me and my son a home. My brother and sister, here I am three years later, exactly nine months after that dream. Rather, not let, let me just give you a clear timeline. I had that dream in July 25th, 2021. Six months after that dream, I got a job. Three months after starting at that job, I made an offer into, for this house. And three months after making the offer, I moved into the house, the very house that the Lord um, was, had been telling me about, that he was going to give me and my son a home. He gave me the word when I was unemployed to cling on to it. But my brother and sister, I want to tell you why this word, the Lord gave it to me this time round. You see, just like you and me, I am also going through the, 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 the cost of living crisis. Ever since I moved into this house, interest rates have been increasing month after month after month. I have clung on to the word of lo the Lord. There are times when fear wants to overcome me, but I cling on to the promises that he has given me. Well, last night, I couldn't sleep because I was thinking about my car. I was thinking about how the tires of my car at the state where it's dangerous to even drive it. I was thinking about how my car is overdue for service. But as I was thinking this, I was thinking about God, I have nothing. After I have paid my bills, I have absolutely nothing. This is exactly why the Lord reminded me of that dream. 
If you remember, I say in this dream, I walk into this house and this house is empty. There is nothing in this house. There is nothing in this house. This specific time when I remembered that dream, the Lord zoomed into the fact that when I looked at that house, I felt like there was nothing in it. It was empty. But in the dream, I said I had x-ray vision, meaning I could see beyond the natural. I could see into the walls, meaning I was seeing in the supernatural, right? I could see into the walls of the house and inside the walls of the house was honeycombs. And because of the honeycombs, the walls of the house continually dripped with honey. My brother and sister, last night or this early this morning, as the Lord reminded me of this dream, he was saying to me, my child, stop worrying. Do not even worry. Why? Because you are on the path. You have stayed course when you were unemployed and you didn't have a job and you were broke. And I kept on telling you that I'll give you a house. You believed. You were like the Israelites whom I said I will take out of bondage and they left not knowing how they were going to get to where they need to get to, which is the promised land. They left anyway. And the Lord is saying, yes, it looks like you have nothing, but I have shown you in the supernatural. I want you to tap into that truth that in the supernatural, as long as you are in this place where I have given you, uh, put you at, as long as you are on this journey that I have put you on, there shall be provision. There shall be provision, supernatural provision. When the Israelites were on that journey, many times they were hungry. Many times they were thirsty. Many times they were burning, scorching uh, hot in the desert. But God continued to provide. When they thought we are going to die of hunger, what did he do? He gave them manna. When they thought that there is no water in the desert and they are going to die, what happened? He asked Moses to strike a rock and water came out. It continued to happen like that. Why? Because they were on a journey to where God asked them to go. They were on a journey to the promised land. So my brother and sister, I am shooting this video right now. And I have never, if you look at any video I have shot on this channel, I have never once asked anybody to share a video. But today I am asked to ask you to share this video to anybody out there who is going through the situation. Because a lot of people right now have lost their jobs. A lot of people right now can't put food on the table. A lot of people right now are being kicked out of their houses. A lot of people right now are just struggling. It's a worldwide pandemic. It's a worldwide problem. My brother and sister, I want to, to encourage you to share this video with anybody who is going through the same situation that you may be going through. Or maybe you are not going through it, but you know somebody who is. And if you are that person and you are unemployed and you are broke and you don't know where to next, I want you to stay the course on whatever the Lord has asked you to do. And I am going to put this video uh, in, the, in the last bit of this video. I'm literally going to just uh, attach it. And I want you to listen to it and imagine me as that girl who shot this video three years ago unemployed, broke, and the Lord showed me a house, a house with gray walls, and he showed me that there will be endless provision. Feed on those words, clinging on to those words, and fast forward then, having listened to that word, and look at me shooting the video from the house, and I'm saying, I'm in the house, and I'm thinking, I have nothing. No, 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 and when I say nothing, please don't take away and think that I am trying to nullify the blessings God had given me. I'm saying when I was thinking about the fact that I need to change my tires, I thought, God, I have nothing in terms of when I pay my bills, there is nothing left. But God was saying, my child, as long as you are on the journey, I will continue to give you supernatural provision. I will continue to sustain you until the mission is completed, until you get to the promise, the ultimate promise. That is our God. That is our God. So my brother and sister, I want you to remember the promises that God has given you. And I want you to remember this video and use it 
as a testimony that God is indeed a promise keeper. God is true to his words. I am doing exactly that. And I'm going to be feeding on that very dream that he gave me three years ago. That as long as I am here, in the place that he has put me at, there shall be endless provision in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to link this video right here. I hope it blesses you. All these things I say in the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. Amen.